G'day everyone, it's Rob the Axeman Atkinson here from Axeman's Family Fishing and Adventures. If you'd seen my last couple of videos, we've been out on Port Phillip Bay catching quite a few of garfish, just like this here. Uh, we ate the first lot. Um, this is the ones that my daughter Summer and my son Riley and I caught on Frankston Pier a couple of days ago. So we're ready just to clean these up now. There's three different ways to clean garfish. Um, there's a hard way, a medium way and an easy way. I'll show you all three today and we'll see how we go. Okay, so the first thing that you need when filleting garfish, because they're such a small fish, is a nice sharp blade. Bought this one from BCF not long ago, might have been about $50, $60. It's got a real good blade but flexible enough to get down onto the backbone uh, when filleting fish. So not a bad, not a bad purchase. Now the first one I'm going to show you is the hardest way. Now I, I recommend this for your biggest garfish and if you're finicky about the bones, you want them all out and all the rest of it, um, this would be the method that you'd use. It's a little bit more difficult, but what we're going to do is going to find the backbone and we're going to cut down to the backbone. Just be careful with the knife, obviously it's nice and sharp. Just down to the backbone. It is a bit lot, lot more fiddly this way, but it turns out nice. You get there, make sure you have any bones in it at all. So what you're seeing there is you're peeling it open and we come down to the rib cage there you can start to just slowly clean out those bones all the way down Flick it over and we'll start on the other side now. Down to the backbone again. about here past the body cavity and just slide that right the way through like you're doing a flathead so back up to here now it's going along with its bones again cut it down through here Feel the edge of the rib cage there, going right the way down the side it. Going right the way down. There we can see the backbone now is completely out. Just right the way down. Go through here, underneath the fin. And what we'll do now is just peel that back. Open it right the way up, and then we've got a nice clean fillet. Butterfly, you can cook it like that, or you can cut it into pieces. Now, the black on the garfish that's just basically from what they eat. Just take that out if you don't like the look of it. Look at that there. And we've got a nice butterfly there, we can cook that up. We'll show you a little bit later on how to cook it. So, that's the most difficult way. I'll show you the next two, which are a lot easier. Okay, so the next way, I call this the medium way of uh, filleting your garfish. Pick your garfish up. What you're doing now is just straight down the back behind the gill. And basically like we're doing a flathead, just turn it around. Find your backbone there. Just take your time, you'll 
feel it crunching through the bones, but it's okay. Right the way through, run it through, take the fluid off. Do the same to the other side. Behind the fin, turn it over. Keep hold of the fish, nice and tight. Crunch through those bones in the body cavity. And just run it nicely along the backbone there and take it out. So, being the medium way, we're just going to take out the bones here. You will lose a little bit of meat doing it this way. Alright, but you will end up with no bones. So some people don't like them at all. Take them right the way out. Just in behind there. And there we go, taking the bones right the way out. So you got a nice little fillet there, all done, ready to go with no bones in it. You'll see that um, these have already been scaled um, because most of the scales fall off the fish when you grab them or put them in water when you catch them. Um, just worthwhile just checking there's a few, if there's a few left on there at the end. I'll just do the second one now, same again, you'll see the edge of the bones there, it's used just the point of the knife, run it in behind there. There we go, here's the second fillet, all nice and clean, all ready for the pot. Okay, so the last and the easiest method is you get your garfish, take your head off, just run your knife down the middle of the gut cavity. that, just clean out whatever's left in the gut. Scraping out the black on the inside there, the majority of it for now. We've got our fish like that. Now the bones in the garfish are quite soft and uh, they will break up a little bit with cooking. They're a bit like salmon bones, they're nice and soft, so you can actually grab a rolling pin and just crush those bones up. All right, crush it up. That's the easy way, and then you are fight that. You can, if you like, get your knife under the backbone there. Take the whole backbone out. If that's what you want to do, you can do that as well. Or you can just eat it straight off the back of the bone. There we go, there's another little way of filleting your garfish, all ready for the pot. Okay, so there you have it, there's um, three different ways to actually fillet your garfish. The harder way, which is taking it out and butterflying it, filleting it down the sides, and then taking out the bones, and then cutting it down the middle, rolling it with a rolling pin to crush up the bones and just taking out the backbone as well. Later on we're going to do some cooking, we're going to do a tempura batter which is probably the best way to cook them and we might try to smoke a few on the barbecue as well, I'll show you how to do that.